let us see how to subtract decimal numbers. Subtracting decimal numbers is quite like adding decimal numbers. So, let us take a look at the first example 4.6 minus 3.2. If you remember the first rule is to write the decimal numbers in such a manner that the decimal points line up that means they are aligned. So, let us write the decimal numbers exactly one below the other. You can see this little yellow arrow here. I have drawn this to show that the decimal points are aligned. When you actually do the subtraction, you do not need to draw any arrow like this. Once we write the decimal numbers exactly below each other, the next step is to forget that there is any decimal point and subtract normally. We subtract from the right hand side to left. So, let us subtract 6 minus 2 equals 4 and 4 minus 3 equals 1. After the subtraction, what we do is that we write the decimal point in the answer directly below the decimal points of the numbers that we subtracted. So, let us put the decimal point and our answer is 1.4. The next example is 57.423 minus 25.2. The first step is done. I have written the decimal numbers exactly below one another and the decimal points are lined up. If you look at these numbers, you can see that their lengths are not same. The second decimal is shorter than the first one. What do we do in such a case? We put extra zeros at the end of the decimal number to adjust its length. So, let us put these extra zeros. We know that in case of a decimal number, if we write extra zeros at the end, it does not change its value. So, it is ok to put these extra zeros. So, let us do the subtraction. Forget that there is any decimal point and subtract normally. 3 minus 0 equals 3, 2 minus 0 equals 2, 4 minus 2 equals 2, 7 minus 5 equals 2 and 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let us put the decimal point uh, in the answer and so our answer is 32.223 or we can call it as 32 and 223 thousands. The next example is 9.2 minus 1.9. The first step is done. The decimal points are aligned. So, let us forget about the decimal point and subtract normally. From right to left we subtract. So, the rightmost column has 2 and 9. We know that 2 is smaller than 9. So, what do we do in such a case? we borrow from the next column. So, let us borrow 1 from 9. So, 9 becomes 8 and 2 becomes 12. So, let us subtract 12 minus 9 equals 3 and 8 minus 1 equals 7. Now that the subtraction is done, we write the decimal point directly below the decimal points of the numbers we subtracted. So, the answer is 7.3. The next and last example is 27.5 minus 11.387. The first step is done. The decimal points are lined up. Let us adjust the length of the first decimal number by putting extra zeros at the end. Now that the length is adjusted, let us start subtracting. Again, 0 is smaller than 7. So, let us borrow from the next column. The next column also has 0. So, let us borrow from the column after that which is 5. So, we borrow 1 from 5. So, 5 becomes 4 and 0 becomes 10. Now, from this 10 we borrow 1. So, this 10 becomes 9 and the last 0 becomes 10. Let us start subtracting 10 minus 7 equals 3, 9 minus 8 equals 1, 4 minus 3 equals 1, 7 minus 1 equals 6 and 2 minus 1 equals 1. After the subtraction, 
we write the decimal point in the answer. So, our final answer is 16.113.